Welcome to today's episode. I've had this strange feeling ever since I woke up this morning that everything is off. I immediately went to the incident frequency modulator and it told me there was some activity in the neighborhood. It was then I decided I needed to get in my vehicle. I call it the detector machine. It's equipped with everything I need to find what would be the cause of why it seems today everything is off. I hope by the end of this episode, we get to the bottom of this. In the research I've done, I've read a lot about what's called astral plane and simultaneous planes of existence, where perhaps we are all leading more than one life at the same time, but just at different planes. And sometimes those planes collide. We could possibly be controlled by something greater than any local or national or world government. It's a power so strong that they're able to create the illusion of our existence. One way to access uh, the aspects of the astral plane and the spirits that roam around in it is to use a Ouija board. Message indicator. And one of the ways not to is to play Monopoly. And now, a warning video about And now, this week in conspiracy history. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Wow. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, well, thanks. All right, thank you. I would think you'd like to know what that was about, but they said I couldn't tell you. someone at the door. Oh, it's freezing out there. Below zero. Do you mind if I warm up in here? Not at all. Where were you? I've been in Greece fighting the Spartans. How many of them? Oh, 300 or so. Not bad. I gotta get going. Man, that teddy sure gets around. When I was uh, about 13 years old, I was at a church group sleepover, and we decided to experiment with trying to travel the astral plane. I was surprised to find that I was pretty easily susceptible to it and I could feel the floor tilting around as I lay on it, as if I was going to be slipping somewhere else. It was a strange feeling. And then eventually I was felt like I was awake and in another place. And I walked into a big hall and it was bookshelves about a hundred feet high just endless bookshelves with books and as I kept walking through this maze of bookshelves I eventually came across the spiritual guide to the astral plane and he asked me if I knew where I was and I said I don't know he said you were in the library of everyone's life and I said what do you mean he said on these shelves, there's a book for everyone who has lived, and it tells how they were born and how they will die. So I want to be really careful with you right now because I don't want you to look at your book right now. It could be a little too upsetting. Spiritual guide to the astral plane then told me that there was actually a librarian. And you're not going to believe this. But the librarian's name was Marion. Madam Librarian. But seriously, I learned to be careful as I was in the astral plane that night. And after that, I didn't think much about it. Until more recently again, now we're... Like today, I'm just having this feeling that things are off. Way off. Oh, sounds like the mailman's here. I opened the package to this and I realized it was a bootleg for the Grateful Dead. But when I played it, it was the voice from the bridge. <laughs> Yeah. 
looks like I've been able to confirm that these powers that I've picked up in frequencies have um, been messing around with me today, but I think I got it figured out. And we're back to the earthly plane. Just want to talk again about, you know, the two differences in uh, there's the astral plane, which may be horizontal, and there are other existences and planes that cross each other that may be vertical. And it can take many different forms, but um, today was like a, a variation of all that. Okay, as always, I would love to hear what you may think, so just let me know down below in the comment section. Everything. <laughs>